All right, people, a few weeks ago, I bought myself an African butterfly fish and it's been doing well. So I thought, let's make a video about it. Now, first things first, this is not my first African butterfly fish. It's actually my third one. And yeah, I think the first thing we need to talk about is how my first two died. Now, the very first one, I'm not really sure what happened there. Um, one day I just came into my room and he was dead. So it could have just been natural causes. However, the second one was definitely my fault. You see, African butterfly fish, they are jumpers. They will jump really high and um. Technically, they are flying fish as well. If you look at them from the top, it kind of looks like they got wings. And yeah, one day I was cleaning the tank and I kind of left the lid open and I went downstairs to get some more water, I think. And in that short time, when I came back up, it, you know, it jumped out and it was on the floor and by that time it was unfortunately already dead and yes i did try putting it back in the water to see whether it would revive but yeah he was a goner but you learn from your mistakes and i hope you can learn from mine people if you're gonna buy a african butterfly fish make sure you have a tight fitting lid no gaps or anything now if your tank does have some gaps in it like the little holes where the wires might come through you can block them off with sponges and all of that i made a whole video about how to make a tank escape proof i'll put it up here somewhere but yeah you don't really want to take the risk just make Make sure every gap is sealed because they are flying fish they will jump and they're really cool you don't want to lose them like that now the size that they get to the maximum size apparently is six inches on top of that they do have a fairly long lifespan i mean if you do everything right they should live anywhere between five to ten years old but yeah anyway let's get to the most exciting part about them which is what they eat you see african butterfly fish they are predator fish and they are surface dwelling fish and if you look at them from the top they look like a floating leaf and there's a reason Reason for that you see in the wilds they wait until an insect drops into the water or maybe that might come to the water surface to have a quick drink and then slowly come up to them and grab them now the really cool thing is if you do have a pet african butterfly fish you can feed them crickets and i can't lie people it's probably one of the saddest things you're ever going to see i mean like i mentioned before i had two before and i did buy crickets for them and the way you kind of have to do it is you just kind of have like a little container where you keep the crickets you take some tweezers catch the cricket pop it into the the water and the butterfly fish will come and just grab it now because the crickets have to be alive it is kind of sad i can't lie i always always felt bad when i would put cricket in but yeah watching their feeding behavior and the way they hunt and that is really really cool now if you don't really want to feed them crickets there are some good news people they do eat flake food as well now having said that it does kind of depend where you get them from if the shop you buy them from if they just purely feed them crickets they might be really used to crickets and might look out for that to eat however in my case um it was on the flake food straight away because in the fish store that i visit they just feed them flake food and they were already used to that and honestly for the past few weeks i've only been feeding it flake food and it is completely fine that's only because i haven't had the time to go to the pet store and buy some crickets i am going to buy some soon because i do like to give my pets a very diet but it seems like you can just feed them you know just flake food now talking about food let's talk about tank mates and um yeah unfortunately there are some fish that are going to be seen as food there was one time i went to the fish shop and i bought myself four celebi half beaks they are these small surface dwelling fish that look a little bit like mini barracudas or mini gars and they're so adorable they're live bearers and that i bought four of them put them in my tank and they got attacked straight away by my african butterfly fish so yeah unfortunately you can't really have surface dwelling fish with them if you are gonna have any you can have another butterfly fish they do tend to be okay with their own species but if you try to have something else like a hatchet fish or a celebi half beak yeah there's a chance they're gonna get eaten now when it comes to the fish that swim in the middle or the bottom dwellers they don't ever get to see each other because the butterfly fish does stick to the surface pretty much the whole day so it should be fine when it comes to having smaller fish at the bottom but just to be on the safe side be prepared that it could potentially eat anything that can fit in its mouth by the way people if you're still watching please remember to like and subscribe it really helps me out now the last thing i want to talk about is its behavior and that is the one part where it does have a drawback because some people may find this fish boring you see majority of the day or pretty much most of its life it will just chill at the surface and pretty much just stay in the same spot like for example my one even right now i'm looking at it and it's just chilling in one spot it might move around every now and then especially when i put food in that's when it wakes up of course and starts eating however for most of the day it will just chill at a spot if you have surface dwelling plants then it will just chill by the surface plants and yeah don't expect it to be very active and move around everywhere having said that because it's a surface dwelling fish you are pretty much going to see it all the time even when it's just stationary and the amazing thing about them is their faces look like 
pack mini arowanas, man. Honestly, I might even get a few more, literally because they look like arowanas and their mouths even open up like them. They are amazing fish, very unique. And just remember people, if you do buy one, the most important thing is make sure you have a lid because I literally lost one by leaving my lid open and it just jumped out. And the worst thing is people, I even knew that they were jumpers. You see, whenever I buy a new fish, I do extensive research. I read forums online. I may watch other videos on YouTube and that. And one thing they all mention is that they are jumpers. However, after a while, you do kind of get comfortable people. And all I can say is don't make my mistake. Don't get comfortable. Don't ever leave the tank lid open. Even if you're just leaving for five minutes, that five minutes can be enough for that fish to jump out. And then you've lost your butterfly fish. But yeah, anyway, people, I've been waffling for quite a while. This was a video on the African butterfly fish. I probably will do an update soon. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss that. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out one of these two next?